Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two chords uh, A, B and uh, C, D that intersect each other at this point uh, A inside this circle with the center O as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this segment uh, A, E is represented by X. The segment uh, E, B is represented by 5X uh, plus 1. This segment uh, CE is uh, represented by 7x minus 5. And finally, this segment uh, ED is uh, x plus 2. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our action plan. Before we could uh, calculate the radius uh, of the circle, we must find the value of uh, x. And now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords uh, theorem. If two chords uh, intersect in a circle, uh, then the product of the measures uh, of the segments of the chords are equal, as you can see in this uh, diagram. Here we got two chords uh, A, C and B, D and they intersect each other such that uh, we get these segments A, B, C and uh, D such that uh, A times B equal to C times D. And now we can see in our case uh, we have got these two chords A, B and C, D that intersect each other at this point uh, A. Let me label uh, this segment uh, as lowercase a, this segment lowercase b, this segment lowercase c, and this segment uh, lowercase uh, d. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. In our case, a is x and uh, b is 5, x plus 1 equals to, in our case, uh, c is 7x minus 5 times uh, d is x uh, plus uh, 2 and now let's go ahead and uh, distribute x on the left hand side and we're going to do the double distribution on the right hand side as well so therefore we're going to have a uh, 5 x square plus x equal to 7 x square plus 14 x minus 5 x minus uh, 10 and now we are going to subtract uh, 5x square and x from both sides this we can see cancels out this cancels out so we got 0 equals to 2x square plus 8x uh, minus uh, 10 and now we could put it uh, the other way around it doesn't make any difference whatsoever and now we can see this equation is divisible by 2 across the board so let me divide both uh, sides by 2 across uh, the board so therefore we are ended up with the uh, x square plus 4x minus 5 equal to 0 and now we can see that we got uh, this uh, quadratic uh, equation and we are going to solve it uh, for x by grouping uh, and factoring so therefore let's focus on this middle term 4x we can tweak this one as uh, 5x uh, minus uh, x as you can see in this uh, next step so therefore I can write this thing as x times uh, x plus uh, 5 and here I'm going to factor out negative 1 and we got uh, x plus 5 equal to 0 now let's go ahead and separate these two factors we got x minus 1 equal to 0 and the other factor is x plus 5 equal to 0 now we can see x represents the side length so x cannot be a negative number so therefore we are going to reject this uh, negative uh, x value and we are going to accept x equals to positive 1 so thus our x value turns out to be positive 1 so therefore uh, this segment a e is going to be x uh, and x is uh, 1 and likewise if we substitute x uh, value 1 over here 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is going to give us uh, 6 and likewise uh, for this uh, segment CE if we substitute x value as 1 1 times 7 is 7 minus 5 is going to give us uh, 2 units 
and finally if we substitute x equal to one value over here that is going to give us uh, three so thus our code segments turn out to be one six two and uh, three and here in this uh, next step i have drawn these uh, horizontal and vertical uh, lines uh, that are perpendicular to these uh, both uh, chords as you can see and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem according to this theorem if a radius uh, of a circle is perpendicular to the chord then the radius uh, bisects the chord so therefore uh, this uh, segment uh, a t is going to be equal to this segment uh, t b if this whole uh, a b chord is uh, 1 plus 6 uh, is going to make it uh, 7 then half of this uh, 7 is going to be a t is going to be equal to 7 divided by 2 and this segment t b is going to be 7 divided by 2 as well and likewise uh, this segment uh, c p is going to be equal to this segment uh, p d if this uh, whole uh, code uh, c d is uh, 2 plus 3 equals to 5 then half of this uh, code uh, c p is going to be 5 uh, divided by 2 and likewise this uh, p d segment is going to be 5 uh, divided by 2 as well and in this uh, next step i have connected this center o with this uh, point uh, d and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, opd and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, segment uh, is 7 uh, divided by 2 and this segment ae is uh, 1 so therefore this uh, et segment is going to be 7 divided by 2 minus 1 and 7 divided by 2 minus 1 is going to give us 5 divided by 2 so therefore our this ET segment turns out to be 5 divided by 2 and if this segment is 5 divided by 2 then this segment OP is going to be 5 divided by 2 as well and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OPD whose uh, side lengths are 5 divided by 2 and this other side length is uh, 5 divided by 2 as well and now we can see this uh, OD is the radius uh, of this uh, circle so therefore I have labeled it as uh, lowercase r and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle to solve for this radius uh, r and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula a in our case is uh, 5 uh, divided by 2 whole uh, square b is uh, 5 uh, divided by 2 whole square as well equal to c in our case is radius r uh, whole uh, square and if we simplify everything on the left hand side uh, our r square value turns out to be 50 divided by 4 let me undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore on the left hand side uh, radius r is going to be equal to and now let's focus on the right hand side i have copied it down over here and if we simplify everything uh, it turns out to be 5 times square root of 2 divided by 2 so therefore our radius uh, r turns out to be 5 times uh, square root of 2 divided by 2 units so thus the radius of this circle turns out to be 5 times square root of 2 divided by 2 units that is going to be approximately equal to 3.54 units as well and now let me share with you the second uh, method and here we are going to apply the direct uh, formula if we have these uh, chords uh, perpendicular to each other such that we have the segments a b c and uh, d and the radius of this circle is lowercase r then our direct uh, formula is going to be 4 r square equals to a square plus b square plus c square plus uh, d square let me label uh, this segment uh, as lowercase a lowercase b lowercase c and uh, lowercase uh, d let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got 4 times uh, radius r square equal to a in our case is 1 square plus b is 6 whole 
square plus c is 2 whole square plus d is finally 3 whole square. And if we simplify the right hand side, we are ended up with 4 r square equal to 50. Let's divide both sides by 4 to isolate r square. So therefore, r square turns out to be 50 divided by 4. Let me undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore, our radius r is going to be equal to 5 times uh, square root of 2 divided by 2. So therefore, the radius uh, of this circle turns out to be 5 times square root of 2 divided by 2 units uh, by using this second method uh, as well. And that is going to be approximately equal to 3.54 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.